Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin. And in this video, we're going to be covering the documentation on how to add the taxonomy term images in the theme builder. So this is a really good use case for this. We've added support in our plugin to do this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you haven't already added the images to your taxonomy terms, go ahead and check out the other video. So now we're going to head over to the Divi Theme Builder. So hover over the Divi menu and click on Theme Builder. Here I'm going to create a new template, so add new. And what I'm going to do here, since we've been using the blog post categories as our example, I'm going to select the All Categories pages. So I know that this applies to um, all blog post categories. There are other category pages here, uh, product category pages, project category pages, things like that. And those would be the exact same thing. But what I'm showing you here, I'm just using all category pages as our example. So I'll click on create template. Now to create that template, I'll click on add custom body. And then I want to build the custom body. So I'll click on that. So here we are in the theme builder template and I can build any Divi layout that I want. So remember, this is the page that someone will see when they click on a category. So if they're viewing a blog post and they see that it's in the design category or something, and they click on that category, it will come to a specific category page. So this is where we wanna have a couple of things. We wanna have the title so that we can say the title of this category maybe the description. And then also we want to show a blog module with the posts that are in this category. What I really want to get to is the image, but we're going to start simple here. I'm just going to add a row and now I'm going to add a text module. And in this text module, I'm going to use the dynamic content feature and click on post excerpt title. All right. So now that will show the title of the category. Now I'm going to do that again. Click on add new module, text module, and then do the dynamic content again. And this time I want this here, category description. This is the description that you would set when you are editing a taxonomy term where you would add the image and you can also add the description. So I'm, I wanna to choose to show that. Now the other important thing to show here would be a blog module. So I'm gonna choose blog and then make sure that you turn on post for current page. That'll be dynamic now. This is essentially turning on dynamic content. And I just prefer to use a grid layout. Actually, I'm going to make this title a lot bigger just so we can see it clearly. All right, something like that. Now, the thing that's missing, now you could always do this in Divi, but the thing that's missing is an image that represents this category. That's what our plugin allows you to do. So watch this. I could go up here and add an image module. And now if I click on the dynamic content icon, featured image, that featured image will be the image that you've added to the taxonomy term. So if I click on that and add that, now when I view this category, it will automatically show whichever image is related or associated with this category just like we did here with the title and the description and even these posts. So everything here is dynamic. Another thing, I'll just put this in here. You could set it as the image as a background. So if I was going to do that, I could come in here in the background, click on background image, and then right here, select featured image. And then this whole entire background, that would be a little bit different layout. But if I was building something like, in fact, why don't I just do it? I'm going to duplicate that. I'll get rid of this image. And what I will do, I'll get rid of this for now. Just to show you a different, a different thing here. I'll go in here again, select background image, dynamic content, featured image. And now we'll have two examples to look at. So this top one and then this one here. All right, so I'm going to save this and then actually go to a category page. I believe the quickest way to get there would be to go up here to posts and click on categories. And then actually these don't have many posts in them. This one has one. So I'll click on this one. 
And here's the example of what I was talking about. Now you can see the text. Hard to see, but I'll highlight it. So what happened is this cycling image that we've added. In fact, I will show you that. So here you can see that we've added this cycling image when we were editing, you know, this cycling term here. Okay. That image now is the one showing up in the background here and also here. So and here is um, the description and then of course the dynamic title. And this is the only post so far in that category. Uh, any other post that would be in this category would appear there too. Um, but you can kind of see how this would be really awesome. It just adds something that was missing before with the image. All right, so that's kind of the first use case that you can do with this plugin. And in the next video, I'll be talking more about the module. So be sure to check that out as well. We hope you enjoy using the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin.